Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm Absurdities and we are back home, healed up once again. Uh, I tried to, uh, I spent a little time before coming home trying to bash all the vents and stuff inside the, the tower, but it didn't seem to have made much difference and really just got us closer to death. So I came back. Uh, I've spent a few days healing up and organizing some food and um, having a look at recipes because uh, thanks to the tips uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my six gun six something uh, and you know everybody really um, letting me know about the heavy sledgehammer which we can make and would take us about 20 hours. Now if we take off our gloves, maybe that'll go down a little bit. Take them off. We're already taking we've already taken off some stuff like our uh, our riot armor and uh, we were wearing two Kevlar vests. I didn't realize that, but we were. Um, so I've taken one of them off anyways and uh, the PBA mask as well. Cuz we were just getting hot. It's it's the middle of summer. So uh, thankfully, that's a day that has now passed. It's day 49. I think it was 44 uh, when we were last with you. Uh, but anyways, let's make a heavy sledgehammer. Bum, bum. And it's going to take a while. Um, yeah, so we're just going to let it go. I didn't restock our auto-eat drink zone, so we will have to stop at some point here. But we're making great progress. We're already 33% done. Uh, moderate weariness, though, so uh, I think at 50... Yeah, there we go. We'll we'll stop. We're very weary. We'll have a bite to eat. Uh, what do we want to eat here? Not dog food. Necco wafers. Sure. I sorted out a whole lot of MRE stuff. Some of it I probably shouldn't have taken out of packaging. But it's fine. We have so much food, and uh, I'm—I'll uh, go show you this uh, while I'm thinking about it. But this uh, this field seems ready to harvest. So look at all the tomatoes and stuff we can get. Um, I am worried that we'll wait too long. Uh, no fertilizer. So the lettuce isn't done, but the tomato apparently is. So that's a bunch of tomatoes. What's over here? It's cucumber and then carrots and zucchini. Um, so that's great. We'll we'll have a bunch of fresh food and hopefully we can figure out a way to preserve it. Uh, it'd be nice if we could can. I don't know. Can we can in this game? Let's get rid of these tomatoes into the fridge anyways. Um, maybe eat something else. Again, not dog food. Oyster cracker and a toastum. We survive off of toastums. It's, it's kind of sad. Uh, and then how about some water? Just to make sure we're fully hydrated. And then maybe take a little nap. A little nappy poo. <clears throat> we're deaf because I still have the earplugs in. Uh, but that's no problem. We'll just give it three hours. We'll wake up. We'll do a little more work. Um... Yes. Any time now. Maybe we're sleeping through the alarm. It appears to me that we're sleeping through the alarm. Yes, we did. Okay. Well, no worries. We're we're well rested, even if we're a little off our clock. Uh, we're peckish. Beef brisket entree. Yes, that's one of the things that came out of the... Uh, Oh yeah, and look at all the cheese spread. There's a hundred and six cheese spread. Mmm, just eat that cheese spread. We're already hydrated, so we're just gonna eat cheese spread until we don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, uh, why isn't it warning us? Yes, we'll stop. It's not warning us before we get engorged, and it's kind of annoying. Anyways, what now? Continue building. Let's build the heavy sledgehammer. And let that happen. I have a sip of coffee. <clears throat> Hope everyone's having a lovely day. By the way, while we're at it, uh, consider uh, checking out the links. Oh, gosh. Um, let me finish what I was saying. 
consider checking out the links on the main channel page. Uh, I did add a link to my Discord, so feel free to uh, get onto there. Um, any kind of events we do together or any live streaming will uh, happen or, well, won't happen there, but um, will be announced there, um, you know, as well as YouTube. But um, yeah, I do, I do plan on doing some gaming together with viewers and patrons. Um, and that's where we would do our voice chat, obviously. Anyways, it is uh, early portal storm time. We'll stop crafting. We'll just be really annoyed about it. Why are we carrying a small MRE bag? That's That was our weapon. Let's have a quick bite to eat. Um, oyster cracker or three. And some water. And then, I wonder if we can get away with picking up our craft. Is it on us? Well, I don't see it. Oh, in progress, right. Not unfinished. In progress. And let's get our butts out of here. It's four in the morning. Do I still have a headlight? I do. Look at that. Beautiful headlight. Okay. And let's head down to the safest area we know of. Probably the, um... The refugee center. What just happened to my light? It seemed to have gotten shorter. Here we go, I think we can go straight down through here now. We might still have a book on us that we can read as well. And there we are. Uh, turn off that headlight. And while I'm thinking about it, let's drop the earplugs in the recharge station, and we'll cycle that. We'll turn it off, turn it on. And can we... Yeah, let's close that as well. Hello, everybody. We're just going to sit here and read for a little while. Oh, gosh. This is not the place to read, though. Sounds like another riot. Stop reading. No? What riot? Yeah, reading here is actually going to take a dog's age. Huh. Well then. I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, it's a little later in the day. At least uh, the sun is up. And we'll go check and see if that portal storm is done. I have a feeling it may not be, but I don't want to spend all our time just sitting in there, especially because it's, it's very slow going. But if we have to come back, I'll just go down the road a little bit. Let's see what happens when we get closer to home. Looking at the, the weather, it's misty. And as we get closer to home, will that change to Portal Storm? Oh, it's fog now. That's why the light came in. I don't see any portal storm thingies happening, so that's good. Let's get this sledgehammer done. Now, I also spotted one thing about this vehicle, is that uh, this uh, heavy wheel hub assembly in the front left of the vehicle is in really bad shape. I already repaired the wheel as best I could, but uh, at some point we got to be on the lookout for some kind of forklift or something. Uh, there was one at Transcoast Logistics, and uh, I would like very much to add that to our vehicle so we can lift our vehicle with it. Don't ask how that happens, but... Um, yeah, that's that's the case. 
Uh, we have some rotten oyster crackers on us. Great. And can I get a gallon... Gallon jug, four gallon size zipper bags. Okay. Dispense or dump, pour in the container, gallon size zipper bag. Dispense or dump. Uh, what is left in there? Two and a half liters? I guess we'll save it. But we are gonna have to, like, I don't actually know where all of our water is coming from. If I go clean water, we have 973, but we don't have that many, like, bottles of clean water around. We have, like, one large plastic bottle of clean water to the northwest. So... I don't know where all the water's coming from if it's not coming from that hot water heater. Yeah, interesting. For now, though, uh, we'll dump the water... No. Oh. Where's the zipper bag with the water? Did... what? Did... huh? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's just... let's just finish the damn thing. We're nearly done anyways. There we are. We've memorized it. Uh, it's not a valid Krav Maga weapon, that's okay. Are we wielding it? We are. And it has uh, 80 bash damage, which I'm assured is enough to get through just about anything. I mean, it's in the, in the description. Um, so we'll trust the description. Eat some barbecue sauce. Well, we've had a lot of calories today already. Fruit jam, cheese. We should make some real food one of these days, but for now it's fine. Uh, oh yeah, look at that thing, it's huge. Did we not pick up the gallon bag? No? I'm, I'm so confused about where that gallon bag went now. Um... Yeah, forget about it. We're not we're not finding it in that list. So be it. I think we just go. Uh, we armor up again, and um, we could put on the wetsuit. And yeah, we have a wetsuit hood that I'm more likely to put on. I think because the uh, environmental protection is ten. I think that's the one that does electrical. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or wait, uh, the item does not conduct electricity. So we'll wear that. We'll wear our right armor suit. We could wear the wetsuit uh, for the same reason. Does not conduct electricity, so would hopefully protect our body. I'm just worried about the heat killing us. We'll we'll try it. Um, did I put the right armor on? <clears throat> yes, I did. Okay. I'll drive back down, and I'll uh, catch up with you back at the Mego Tower again. Alright, we're just about there again. Just down here, I believe. <clears throat> there we are. And you can see it's still nasty with those fumes. Um, okay, first thing... Well, one, shut off the engine. Wear the mask. Because we're going to need that protection. The gloves will wear... The survivor hood, I guess we can leave off for now, because we have the wetsuit hood on. And we're ready to go back in and see if we can't free some souls. You can see I destroyed everything on this level, but it doesn't seem to have mattered. Uh, I was going through this level, doesn't seem to have mattered. Uh, I am going to bash... Couple more things there, and then if I go for this corner, oh look at that! Come on out, friends. Um, likewise here. Come on, there we go. Okay, everybody. Just we're just gonna hightail it out of here. 
Come on, everybody. Um, tell everyone to. Oh my god. <clears throat> Move to location. Oh, they're all upstairs. Everyone, move here. Or... Tell everyone to move to, or tell someone, tell everyone... Everyone... To move here. Oh, it's gonna be annoying, isn't it? We're very hot. Catch your breath. People! Come down. Oh my god. I'm going to just kind of lose my shit with the game, because uh, this should be one of those very simple things where they just follow you out, right? Um, Tell someone to move to a location. Everyone, move here. But it doesn't seem to work that way. Uh, so I'm going to do a little research and find out how we can get them out. Do we need to, like, literally collar them and drag them along like we did the dogs? I don't think that's possible, but I'm going to do some research and find out. Well, one option is to make a lot of noise. Um, let's just smash this, smash that. See if anybody comes out to investigate. Doesn't look like it. Smash that. Sounds like something bad's going on, yes. Um, what's bad is you're not following me, dinguses. Yeah, we're gonna catch our breath. Wait another five minutes here. Still warm. No, that didn't work. <clears throat> what do you do? Alright, somehow... I got two people to come out. I don't know exactly how. Uh, we could start yelling again. I also told them, like, as a group, tell someone to start working on... Uh, I don't know. Um, actually, let's try that. We'll add a zone. We'll add a... I don't know, an unsorted zone. To... How about here? Just so there's lots of items, even if they are inside the bottom level. And then, um, we'll add another zone. Hmm. How do we, how do we do a zone for everything? A prioritized spawn point? What? Uh, I would have to make a zone for all this crap. Hold on a second. We'll save that. Let's have a look at what this stuff is named. Fetid goop. There's just fetid goop everywhere. Don't don't go in there. Uh, talk. I want to. I don't know what. Okay. Let's go back in here. Add a zone. Custom zone. Uh, fetid. There we go. Bind that. Save it. Tell someone to work on uh, organizing loot into zones. And let's choose everyone here. Completed the task. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Oh no, here they go. Are the other ones gonna come down? They're putting the goop in the truck. 
Let's wait five minutes. No? Okay, so they... just the two. Oh, nice work. Um, swap positions. I need to, uh, I need to deal with their rules and stuff, so... Set some mis miscellaneous rules. Um, what is your name? Erna Gorman. Sleep when you feel tired. You can bash obstacles. Don't bash obstacles. Don't pick up items. Stay quiet. Leave corpses alone. Eh, you can smash corpses. No, closed doors. Don't walk through closed doors. Don't investigate noises you can't see, yes. And... And never mind. Okay, so that was something. Commands for combat. Stick close to me no matter what. You know what, never mind. I just need you to stay here. Hold this position. Okay, and you, I want to talk. Miscellaneous rules, follow the same rules as Erna. Never mind, something I want you to do. Hold this position. What the? Heck, man, stop it. You're supposed to be holding the damn position. Um, guard this position. We'll try that. That's better. Okay. Is there anybody else down here yet? No. No. <sighs> Tell someone to follow. What? Talk to Shirley Combs. Um, something I want you to do. Mm. You know what I might do is leave these people, go set up a camp, and then have all these people tra there, travel there independently. I think they'll do that. Is that it for everyone in here? No, I missed one. Come on. I am using this heavy sledgehammer. Okay, yes, stop. There we go. Oh my god, they're gonna die to the lightning, aren't they? Okay, let's whack the heck out of that, see if they come down. We should maybe catch our breath. Yeah, why don't we catch our breath? Ignore the overheating. Okay, we heard people moving around. Tell someone to follow. Everyone. Oh, God damn it. Stop it. These guys. Guard this position. That was Jesse. Erna. Guard this position. Welcome to the joy that is NPCs in CDDA. Don't know if killing those is going to make any difference whatsoever. Probably have to do the ones on the roof if, if we expected it to make a difference. Hmm. 
yeah. Uh, our head hurts. We're scorching. Catch your breath. Yeah, that all hurt. So they're moving around up there. I, I just, uh, I'm a little frustrated by this. Now, I understand that we can give them gas masks. Or that's something I read is that maybe if I give them gas masks, um, they might come out because they may choose not to walk through all the nastiness. So, I don't know. I think we wait five minutes here. Try and cool down. Wait another few minutes. Oh, and look at this. Suddenly, we have 246 people in our vehicle. It's very crowded now. Um, to, to talk to, tell someone to work on, tell someone to guard. Everyone. No, get back in the vehicle. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Talk to you. Need you to come with me. Talk to you. Need you to come with me. Swap positions, swap positions, close that door, swap positions. And can we just get the heck out of here, please? Pretty sure this is everyone. If it's not, I'm sorry, but we're done messing around. Um, now, this begs another question, is where are we going to set up our base? And I believe it will be a 3x3 three three area. And uh, as much as I want to be up... Yeah, maybe we'll just do it up by the house, actually. Um, maybe up south of the house over here. We'll do a 3x3 three three in this little corner, maybe. We could do over here. Now, there is a crack I'm aware of in this area. So we might have to go run that down. But for now, let's get everybody home and reunited with our six dogs. It's six dogs... Six followers, camp followers, and no camp yet, but we're gonna we're gonna work on that real soon. Yeah, whatever you do, don't get out of the I, I'm aware the back door is open, so I'm a little wary of people like hopping out to punch a crow or a raven or something. Which would be very ill advised. But so far so good. No, I don't care about that rock. Run it over. Well, turns out you didn't have to do much other than wait for them to come. And it worked it out. Now begins another phase, though, of the playthrough that is going to be very time-consuming and require a lot of resources, but I'm kind of looking forward to it in a way. Because uh, I would like to think that this goes more in line with just clearing houses and whatnot, is a desire to uh, try and rebuild some semblance of civilization. And uh, care for people who can then in turn, or in return, care for us. So. Welcome home, folks. Get parked up here. And stop driving. So we got a we got a van full of or a, a military five ton truck full of naked people uh, who are in various states of health, and I think we will go through all of that in the next slightly shorter video, but uh, otherwise I'm going to go real long. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Get on the Discord. Um, yeah, thanks to my patrons. Have yourselves a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye for now.